Eureka. Get closer. Plays every day, yeah. Get closer. Make plays every day, yeah. Can you smell it? Mother chin, mother day, hairs on my chinny chin. Razor clothes. Jamaicans. Welcome, welcome to the Real Fantasy Playmakers. I am your host, Bogard Scott Free, here with my esteemed colleague, the Goo. It's Super Bowl week. What's happening, Goo? Oh, what to do, baby? We're almost there. You, Woo! We're almost there. On the, party in the city where the heat is on. Woo! We're going to be out there. Oh man, I almost. <laughs> it's funny because I just draw a blank every time I think of I us saw in the that. Super Bowl. Yeah, like, I saw wow. That. Like, well, we're it's here. Right, right it's happening. This is happening. Yeah. This is happening. All right, let's get the housekeeping out the way, right? Right out the gate. Follow us at the GMM Network. Follow me at Bogard Scott Free World. Follow my esteemed colleague, the Goo, at the Guru408. <laughs> hey, don't forget to fucking subscribe to this bitch, too. You know what I'm saying? We, we're trying to expand on the horizon of the GMM Network. You know what I'm saying? Playmakers. You know what I'm talking about? Also, shout out to all, all our viewership on Instagram or our viewership, our uh, followship. Is that a word? Fuck it. We're making it up. Playmakers. Also, all the playmakers. yeah, all the playmakers. Uh, also, shout out our sponsors, Milk and Honey. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, at milkandhoney.com or milkandhoneytx.com. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with all the uh, fuck with all the uh, CBD airy things. And uh, shout out to Bay Clothing. You know what I'm saying? Go get you a hat, t-shirt, all the shit. <laughs> Boom. All that's out the way. Fitted. You know what I mean? Uh, man, we got to get right to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, even though this is a fantasy football show or if just football show in general... We we love we we're a lover of all sports, you know what I'm saying? We we lost a legend, you know what I mean? Kobe Bryant, man. man Kobe, man. And they took, they took, also, they took, they took I, the I don't want to overshadow uh, the rest of the people that, that that also lost their lives, you know what I'm saying? In in, in the in the helicopter crash, you know what I mean? We're, we're you know we're, we're putting up, uh, you know, before the before the show started, we actually <laughs> lit this cone up, you know what I'm saying? We're putting one up for the Mamba. And, and and everybody else that passed in the unfortunate tragedy, you know what I'm saying? We'll have a quick moment of silence. Rest in peace to one of the goats. It's crazy, man. I mean, it's like that might be like one of the most shocking things in like the in our from, from living like, history, in, right? Yeah, like from, our like from my history? eyes. It, like, <sighs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's like, there. it don't get much bigger than that and more tragic than that. And it's like, man, it's just like, I still don't even really believe it. Like, yeah, I wake up. <laughs> hey, was I, Rick Fox one of them too? No, no. Okay. I heard I heard Shaq say that t uh, actually today on something that okay. there was a rumor that Rick Fox was on yeah. there, but no, uh, nah, he wasn't. Okay. He wasn't. But man, it's just, it's sad, man. It's growing you know, up around here, man. All the, but you know, around here, there's a bunch of, you know, in that era, everyone was a Laker fan around here. So, well, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, what's crazy is that like, I've never been a Laker fan Definitely fucked with the Lakers because of Kobe, you know, yeah. in, our, in our lifetime. And it turns out the whole world did, too. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's just one of those things where it's like when you're in the battlefield and, and, it's, and it's in season and your team's playing the Lakers, you hate them. I hated the I, I, I personally you know I mean? hated Kobe I, back in the day. For I sure, because he was, the, he was the shit. Oh, yeah. I could tell you there was one, uh, one uh, you know, the Warriors. I used to look forward to the Laker games because, like, the Warriors, you know, it's like, the, let's try to beat these motherfuckers. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I mean, It's going to be a packed house. It's our house. biggest game of the year, packed yep, house. It's, yep. like, it's like the one big game for the Warriors back in, like, the early 2000s. And uh, we had a guy named Antoine Jameson yep. uh, who had scored. I can't remember if it was this game or the second game, but he scored 50 points. And, uh, and, and we played the Lakers. <laughs> he scored 50 points the game before. And we played the Lakers. And uh, this fool went off. Antoine Jameson went for another fifty, right? But not to be outdone, you know what I mean? Kobe matches him with the, with a fifty of his own and like steals the game at the end and just like rips our heart out and takes the win. And it was just in like, Kobe yeah, fashion. Kobe in classic Kobe fashion. Like, look, I know you had fifty last night, but you ain't gonna outdo me tonight. Like, he just and just killed it. Like that was that was the highlight of the Warriors season. That whole like those two games where that dude scored fifty. Damn. Like Kobe just came and snatched it. Even though they lost Warrior fans, I mean, we, it was still like a memory. But like that was the dude he was, bro. He was he came in and just he just took your lunch money, and there wasn't nothing you can do about it. You know what's funny? Because he wanted it more. You want to know what? Uh, so I okay, here's my Kobe story, 
right? This is this one. It might seem kind of lame, but you know me, cause, so it makes sense. <laughs> We're like, I always hated Kobe, right? Just because he was hella good, and we he wasn't one. He wasn't ours. He was theirs. Of course. For you know, he's he, you know he was never gonna, he was never he almost seemed like he was never gonna leave. You know what I mean? He was you know like you had all the, the you know he had all the reasons to hate him too. Like oh he pushed you know he pushed Shaq out. He, he made them push Shaq out, and then then Shaq wins one. Then you're like oh yeah see he never won one because he, yep. he was he won with Shaq. You have all kind of ways to hate, and then it and then, then uh, there was that remember the Artez year, and uh, not Artez uh, uh what's his name, uh, uh, uh Ariza the Ariza mm-hmm, year. Mm-hmm. Right where the fucking um, and then they lose, they lose to uh, Boston to, to Boston, and then over the next year, right, like you know, it, it was it was Qua. I was trying to remember his name. You remember Qua? Uh, playing poker. Yeah, yeah. Qua. So we're playing poker. You know, so so this this got to be the 2010 summer, something like that. And I was like, bro, I'm trying to tell you. You know yeah. what I mean? I was like, I'll put money on the Lakers this time. I was like, you know, you ain't gonna, you know what I mean? I was like, I can keep that man not, down. No, not the second time in a row. You know what I'm saying? This is still, uh, was this, this was still Phil Jackson, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, this it was, was still Phil. Phil Jackson. I was like, no, you, you ain't stopping Phil and, and, and the Mamba. And, 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 and anyways, because this is like the prove it time where, you know what I'm saying? He had to, he was running the shit. You know what I mean? It's all Kobe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, they had, um, man, there was all kind of, Motherfucker's still there. Was the white boy still? Was the white boy there at that, that time? Oh, Kevin Gasol? Nash or uh, Nash. Gasol was there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Nash was there. Um, either way, yeah, they were. They won. They won back to back. I think the like, yeah, yeah. This is the one that started the back to back, right? And like, I remember Kwa was like, "I will bet you a hundred dollars." Boston takes it. I was like, "All right, done, huh?" You know what I mean? But then see, like, as it started to progress through the series, you know, what I'm saying, I remember we we're all playing poker like damn near every other night. And this motherfucker wanted to raise that shit. And I think this is like the Sears was tight or whatever the fuck it was. I can't remember did the details. Did you out of it or did you do it? No, I fucking, I, like, let's do it. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Doubled up. Right? And I remember I was in, so then, <coughs> then I ended up going to Hawaii. And I'm in Hawaii when they close them out. Nice. I remember calling Kwa. And he was hot because he bet every, by this time he had bet everyone to a degree. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, but mine was like, it was up to like 300. And I remember just loving that. Yeah, Kobe was that too, bro. He yeah, no, and see, and that that was so that's my Kobe story where I was like, man, I love Kobe. Got to rock with him. Yeah, he was right? like to like, me, to me, like I hated MJ too, and I was, and I, I'd come to love these guys. Like I love Kobe, like the last like five years, even in the <laughs> twilight of his career. Like I, I, I respect greatness. I can't. Oh, yeah. I grew up. I finally respect greatness. But you in my are, younger age, I hated him. You are a seeing is believing guy to the max. No, no, no. I've seen it even, for 15 you know, years. Even Jordan, like Jordan. Yes. I knew Jordan was great, but yeah. I fucking hated him because, you know, uh, he couldn't, you couldn't beat no, yeah, he, yeah. he's the only one who won and everybody yep. was a Jordan fan and Kobe was like that same, like right after it. It's mm-hmm. like, you couldn't beat him. What's he was he was a Jordan. He was a Jordan. He was like a Jordan. Uh, you know, not, I don't want to say knockoff, but like he modeled everything he's from after the Jordan. cloth of Jordan. Right. He's, it was, he's, it, he's from he's a spawn. He's yeah. A jo- he's a spawn of Jordan. So I didn't. You know, initially, you know, I wasn't. You know, I. It, you know, I, there. I'm the competitor in me. The, 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 you know what's can't crazy? Do it. But I've grown up. I you know I love everybody. Now. I love. I mean, rest of, re, re, man. God, God bless the dead. You know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate. But what's super? T- what, 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 I'm just because I don't want to sound insensitive. What, what I'm about to say, it's crazy that people are finally giving him his respect. Like the whole Kobe Lebron argument for years. Now everyone's like, oh yeah, you know he's like now. Now they're saying like definitively, like he's like he's like Jordan, right? Like everyone's saying that now. Like, it was like, already. It was. It was. It's cemented. I know, but now. it was like now they're saying everyone it. already knew it. Like you know what I mean? I'm just saying like it's official. It, 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 it's it, funny it, how it works like that. It always happens like that in death, where it's like. People now they want to give you the roses. You know what's funny is uh, I seen on on the show called The Jump on ESPN. Uh-huh. Uh Tracy McGrady, T Mac. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Like, I had his kids. Super close with, Co- with with Kobe, right? And like yeah, yeah, this is man's. Uh, and like he said that when they were kids, like Kobe's like I want to I want to win more than Jordan, and then I want to die young. Oh, that's crazy. And like he was like and be immortalized, and that's I mean it's essentially what I mean like. Wow, I'm sure that he didn't feel that that's, way always, but like, yeah. but like that was his mindset. Like, man, I want to be like immortalized. And that's like, this shit, got, dying I young will do that for you. Dog. That was my mindset when I was a kid, because I always had aspirations of like blowing up in, in music, and you know what I mean, and like just living a life of a rock star and like live fast, die young type of shit. Like, yeah, you're, st- you're now it's like wanting to like 
extend life and you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and I mean, live it And that's what I'm sure that yeah, he did. But I mean, it's it's sad, bro. And then the part, the, the, you know, the heartbreaking part so is that young, dog. as a father and just yeah. to see how, like, his daughter, he was, yeah, how he's evolved. Like, he was, Kobe was an ass in his playing days. Like, he was wanted yeah. to kill everyone. And it's like, you see the soft side, you see, like, the, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? The growth and, like, man, it's, it's, it's just, it's, yeah, because he I'm, was a kid. I can't believe how, how, like, shook I was by this. You know what I mean? Like, people die. All the time, and athletes die all the time. And it's like, <laughs> but this one was just. I remember being a kid when Tupac died. That shit was like, wow, because I was like such a fan of him, and I had only been a fan of him for like a couple years. Like, I, what we was like in sixth grade. What were we like sixth grade? Huh? We were like ninety. I don't even remember that. Ninety six. What was it? Ninety four. Ninety five. Ninety six. Oh yeah, ninety six. Yeah, so ninety six. We were like in sixth grade, right? So that's when this motherfucker died. And I had been fucking with Tupac for maybe like three years by that time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like, this was like my first favorite artist that I liked. Obviously, I liked because of my older sister put me on everything I was on. You know what I mean? But and my older cousins. But that was one of the ones where I was like, I grab like you know I bought the Tupac albums and the fucking you know what I mean? Where it was like, that was my shit. When he died, I was like, whoa. Then it tripped me out because for years I was a believer in like. Then this is before all the footage and documentaries started to surface, mm -hmm. right, you know, right? Or people started to make documentaries about mm -hmm. Pac. Because I'll look back and be like, like when I was a kid, like, damn, he's still alive. <laughs> I wanted music. to believe it. Oh, yeah, He's yeah. coming out with music. For sure. But then it's like you start watching all these documentaries start get put together of all this lost footage and shit. And, like, how he be in there knocking three, four songs out hey. in, in, his, in a session. And, like, like dog, I kept it too pockish in my shit. Like, till this day, when, when we're working in the lab, it was like, you know, we're going to knock, like, two or three out on a good day. You know what I mean? Like, like at least, like, you know, what's funny is I'll be having, like, at, mo at minimum, like, two-hour windows in the lab. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, like. You got to come in ready. Yeah, you know what I mean? And like, like, in those two hours, I could do so I could work something, like, you know, brand new. Boom, on the spot. And I'll at least get one done of some quality, too. You know what I mean? But it's like. Yeah, but, but when you know back in, back then, when you, especially when you got a squad, we're just knocking shit out, like you know what I mean. But anyways, you know to, to go to the Kobe shit, it's like, you know, he left on a good note, and his career wise, right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like in a good note, as in like on a high note. You know mm -hmm. that game and oh, that game where yeah. he scored sixty was like, I was blown away, <sighs> blown like, away. He's just like, you know what I mean? Like what a way to. What a way <laughs> the last time to be seen. Like, you were talking about Tom Brady. Yep. You know, and we're like, no, Tom Brady's come back 100%. Because you're like, you think the pick six is going to be the last thing they run? You know what I mean? Tom Brady ain't going out like that. No, he's not. Yeah. Right? But, but, you know, so, so, so yeah, anyways, yeah. so Kobe, you know, he, he, he ends his career on a high note in that sense. Everyone respects him. He does the, he does the follow thing for a couple of years. And then now he starts to poke his head out. And that's what's sad about it. Because it's like, of course, he was doing all the, his camp shit for hell of years. Yeah, no, it's it's. But it's, like, but like, I'm talking about like as far as like, it's all, all he's, bad. It's all oh, yeah. bad. Not just like, but you know, he got his, he got a job. I mean, a job. A, he got a, a a show with ESPN. Like, you know, he was about to. He was starting to. He's doing things. Yeah, he was about to. You know, get, get, not get his talking head on, but you know, he's he's about to just. You know what I mean? Get his present. He's Kobe. He can do whatever he wants to do. He's just the first. You know what I mean? Because you know, su superstars like Michael Jordan. You know, once you became. Once he once he was done with things, he just stayed in the in the cut like the fucking Phantom of the Opera and shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Like a mob boss. Yeah, but also too, in hindsight, when you look back, with Jordan, kind of makes sense because the motherfucker owed a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he went to baseball, and then, you know what I mean? Did yeah. you ever hear about? The, I, I I heard some like mob dude do an interview. Yeah, and say that like they like the Michael mob, Francini, Michael Francesi. Yep. Yep. That uh, Fran, Francesi or whatever. Fran, yeah. Yep. That uh, yeah. That his dad got killed by the mob, basically over his yeah. gambling debt, and like they yeah. they were gonna tell him to leave for a year, and so like that whole baseball thing yeah. was all just a fucking exactly. hoax and shit, just to get yeah. him away from basketball. Yeah, fuck, I'll go play baseball. That's crazy. Yeah, but the, what, that dude owed yeah. a lot of money. He gambles a lot. He, he you know what? Had that, he right? gamble on himself. He put on that. Put it all on me. Put it all over. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna cover <laughs> yeah. that. I'm gonna cover that. <laughs> Just, you know what I'm saying? You think he was? You think he was gambling on the Bulls? Fuck yeah, if I win <laughs> shit. That's hilarious. That's crazy. What was it? You know what I'm saying? Like, he, what? Maybe he was never even Mike sick. was a degenerate Maybe gambler. Maybe he never had a flu. 
Myster- mystery flu. It drops the fucking someone line said, down. Someone said that that was. It, a, it drops oh. the line down low, then he just goes in crazy, <laughs> betting America's off. He's like, put it on me. <laughs> MJ has the flu. <laughs> he has the juice. Might not play. He has the juice. He might. And then he scored thirty eight. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy shit. Oh crazy shit. shit, we got away from that one. But yeah, so rest in peace to Kobe, bro. Yeah, rest in peace, Kobe. Let's get, yeah, but uh, we do have a football game that's gonna get played in a few days. Uh, you know, out in Miami, yeah. and our boys. Well, Jamaican horse one time for the Black Mamba. Yes, yes, one more time. Fuck yeah! Never thought I'd be so pro Kobe, but even even before you know Sunday. I mean, cause you know what, too, it's like so pro. It's it's. Cause you know, it's when you look at your, when you look at one more one more thing about Kobe. When you look at his game, you look at his career, all that, right? And then you know, it's you're like, okay, you either on, you either a Laker fan or you're not. So it's like you look at it subjectively, right? But like you said it best earlier, where you're like, you know, you just start to see the other sides of him, and you know what I mean? Like, like, come on now, Shaq. Like Shaq, like yeah, you know, I kind of hated him too when he was on the Lakers, right? Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, it's like, man, I love Shaq. He had slaps. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. He got yeah, a couple. He had a couple right back in the day. He had slaps. He's all funny. You know what I mean? Even like, even after life after basketball. You know what I mean? Like, he, he's, a, he's a persona. But like, yeah. Kobe at first, it looked like, oh, he's just going to be one of those guys that's only basketball. Like, so, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But now he starts to poke his head out. He has some character. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. Yeah, they're you competitive know guys. Like, that's one thing I always respected about them. Him and like guys like MJ, like compulsive competitiveness to like just be great at something. Whatever they want to do. They're great at it, and they they're not gonna be told they can't be. Like you know, it's funny. I remember when you know he always go on like Jimmy Kimball and shit, right? After you win, yep. And when he got that fifth one, right? Like, bro, he you could probably look find us on YouTube somewhere, but he sits down, Jimmy with J- Jimmy Kimball, and he's like, "How do you feel?" He has a big old trophy. And he's like, "How you so you just carrying that everywhere?" He's like, "Oh yeah." And he's like, "He's like, how you feel, man?" He's like, "Feel better than Shaq. I got five, Shaq <laughs> oh, for sure." And like right out the gate, you just oh, ah, sure. shaft him. That was a that, that was having a, four wasn't enough. Was he's like fuck? I haven't enough as much as Shaq. You know yep. that was cool. Like I got one without the open, Shaq. The, the way they like were not hiding it, making yeah. it very clear. The obvious. He just came out. And was love like, that. Love that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, Kobe. Yep. Yep. Dan, Shaq was, was a, pissed. Damn, that was a minute ago. What was that ten years ago? Yeah. Just about twenty ten. That twenty ten summer. Yep. Yeah. Well, you know, once again, rest in peace. To the Black Mamba. One more time, Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I got to wake them up. I got all these fucking notifications. Get out of the Jamaica. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so the game, you know, what? Uh, we talked about it last week. Oh, hold week. on. Let's get some more of some news real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want to bring this? Yeah, because yeah. like, I, like, I, I don't mind. I forgot about the news. Yeah, because this is a show we could pump for a couple days, too. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, there is some news like, I right away, Eric, again, Kareem Hunt, that stupid son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, Again, but it, you know. Did you, you see the video? I didn't watch the video. I read. Oh, I read it's the sad. Thing. You watched it. Oh yeah, the cop kind of punks him too, right? Yeah, because he's clearly like he's he's been drinking. And he has an open alcohol container, right? And he goes, "Come on, man! This cop's a Browns fan too, right out the gate. Oh man, he's like, what are you doing, man? Like, you know what I mean? And Kareem Hunt's like, oh, right away, you know what I'm going through. You know what I'm. And I, was, I was just watching, like, oh, that's pathetic. Like, it doesn't matter. He's an idiot. How selfish is that? You know, you're, you're caught up. You're trying to use that, even if that's really what you're going through. And then he's like, I'm supposed to be in the Super Bowl right now. I'm supposed to be. And then some of that, I was like, oh, he might oh, really be true. feeling that. That's true. Driving yeah. around trunk. He got weed on the dashboard. You know what I'm saying? But so the dude let him, he cited him for the, for the weed, because that's what it is these days. And, and, and then, you know what I'm saying? He let him go. But he didn't He didn't give him, he, and the cop's probably going to get in trouble. I thought he got cited for just a citation or for speeding or something. Yeah. Like traffic, no No, no but he confiscated. There you go. He right, they took it. He confiscated the yeah. tree. It, there was nothing weed related. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't, you know, he had open container. <laughs> like, you know, that's not going to, we've seen Ezekiel Elliott, you know, get fucking uh, suspended for less. You know what I mean? Like, you know, as far as an accusation goes. You know what I'm saying? But it's like the, the 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 police might get in trouble for that too, dumbass pig. Yeah. But he's like, I'm a Browns fan, man. You know, it's frustrating year after year. You know, man. But you guys, you know, you can't be doing stuff like this. Like he was like telling this guy some real life shit though. Like, yeah. I mean, on, in the Hunt. end, he's a kid. He's like 20, 23, yeah. 24. But still, Hunt's like he's dumb. And you know what? Too. Ah, oh, that's dumb. You know what? Too. I'm sorry. It's really dumb, and it's like he's slowly. Becoming one of those motherfuckers where it's like, just get the fuck away from me. 
the Browns anyway. My man <laughs> Nick Chubb just over here threatening my man Chubby Bastard. He's not going to stay behind Nick Chubb forever. I know. Sure. Just get the fuck away because now with your new troubles, Cleveland's probably going to be like, well, you can stay on here for another million dollars for a year. You know what I'm saying? When no team's going to want to deal with you, except for maybe the Patriots, until they find out you're going to take an 11 game or maybe even a full season for fucking <laughs> suspension. Goddamn Kareem, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, he's uh, he's tripping. He's tripping. He's he's crying in the car because he's not in the Super Bowl. Is that what just happened? Is that what his reason was? What that what's what he's going through is because he's not. In the and Super he, Bowl? that's part of the footage. Damn, he's crying like Damn. he's trying to use it to get off. I'm in. I'm right in the middle of the podcast, babe. What's that? Should I see? No, you're not on speaker. But you're live on the GMM. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, bye. Family She's, first. Family counts. No, no, she was just like, no, because there's this mouse. Like, when we had <laughs> mouse mice. Mouse in the house? No, no, no. Well, well, fuck, I hope not. But no, when we had mice, like a, 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 like a, little, a little over a year ago, you know what I'm saying? I had all these sticky traps everywhere. And, I, and there's this one that I didn't know was underneath one of our cabinets. It didn't have no mice on it. But it got, you know, when I was vacuuming, it got swooped up. And then now it's like stuck on the curtain. Oh. Because we had these long curtains. So she's like, there's a fucking mouse trap. Get the fucking mouse trap out of this. I'm in the podcast right now. This can wait. Hold on. This can you know what wait. Saying? Probably, yeah, yeah, there yeah. weren't there no mice. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're in the clear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Disaster averted. Yeah. Disaster averted. Hold on. Hold on. Now I'm making it a little game of mine to see how long I occur before we actually even talk about this game. <laughs> oh, no. We're not going to talk about the game right now. <laughs> I'm not even getting into that. Yeah. I no. wanted to talk about AB. Did you hear about him? Okay. No, no. Fill me in. You haven't heard about AB. I mean, I, okay. The last, the last I heard about AB. He was giving this bitch a bag of dicks, and it was a fucking bag of dicks. It was gummies, you know what I'm saying? And when the police was there, and he was trying to get the bitch to get get, get took, you know what I'm saying? Because the kids and all kind of it was some it was some it was some fucking ignorant shit. No, he he like uh, he got in this, trouble. No, this this was like three weeks ago. No, no, this is okay. So no. that's that's where I left off. That's what I'm saying with the A B saga. Hear, I didn't hear nothing about the bag. <laughs> okay, bitch, okay. So what happened after? That? It, no, hold on. We I think we got to go back to that. What the fuck happened? Are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yes, he got into it with his bitch. He was like, she's a hoe, blah blah blah. So she didn't even got no car. She was trying to steal his car, not steal it. She was trying to use the car to drop the kids off because she didn't have no car. I guess she took an Uber or some, got to the house, some shit like that, a lift maybe. I don't know. She shows up at this at his his mansion. She's trying to fucking, you know, get the kids, take them to school. She's trying to smash off of one of his Bentleys, right? And he, so now he's called the cops, and he's not letting her take the bitch, and, and uh, let him take the, the Bentley, and then he's telling them they need to take the bitch. She's broke. She's, she's a hoe, this, is and that. He throws a bag of dicks at her, and it's a fucking <laughs> a, a bag of, like, gummy dicks. Like, you know, like actual edible gummy right, dicks. Right, like, right, you know, right. Like gummy, gummy bears, bears and shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And this is the actual thing I think that he's pushing too. Like, think he even has a website. That is um, pretty damn funny. I didn't hear that. <laughs> that part I might have made up. The last part, <laughs> I was like, the website. This, what the fuck <laughs> is like, going yo? On? He, he actually threw a bag of dicks at her. No, he no, he basically uh, assaulted somebody trying to uh, like tow his car or something. It's, this uh, like a week ago. Oh shit! And he got. He, there was a warrant out, out for his arrest in Florida. So he, oh. actually, he turned himself in. And he got, oh, he had, was on house man. arrest for a few days. Uh, and then in the news day, he got his ankle. That's bracelet. it, bro. Yeah, no, he's done. He's done, right? Like, you know what he? You he know what he'll be good. Mind. He'll be good if he has a show now, right? This is how I would pitch it. I'd be like, look, AB, this is what we're gonna do. We're you're gonna have. We're gonna get this reality show, right? Where you're gonna we're gonna go to these other kids that are fucking up, and you're gonna be like, look at me, dog. <laughs> You don't want to be like me, you know what I mean? Like, you know, one it's of those. Going, it's kind of spiraling, kind of bad. Actually. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like this not, is the only this way it might not back. end well. It's the only way he can come back one day. He's gonna have to do some kind of motivational shit for some people that be fucking up their shit and be like, "Look, man, let me be a let me be an example," and blah blah blah. And then maybe in a couple of years, he'll have like a, one season where he can come back, and like it'll just be he won't he won't have it anymore. But it'll be like you know a novelty. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know if he's coming back. Or he'll be a guy that comes back and he's like he gets cut from. T- <laughs> he doesn't even make the teams. You know what I mean? Like put him, they put him on the practice squad. Like how Reggie Wayne was in his end of years. Like he's just going to every team's getting cut. <laughs> like fuck. He's, I think he stuck with the Patriots for a year. Yeah, he just kept getting cut. 
Reggie Wayne. That was my guy. Yeah, but AB, bro, that fool, he's a uh, fuck. Kind of feel bad for him. I didn't hear sad. about that one. That's it's sad. Just a, damn, it's like that's, that's like a, a bag like of a, dicks and fucking. Now you're now you're trying to knock out the dude trying to tow your car. I get that, but you got bread. Break the man off. I bet you that was a conversation. Probably. Come on, I bet you. And then you know what, too? I also bet you he hey, might not have as much bread as you think. I mean, did he? He lost a lot of money this year. That's right, for sure. Right, right. He still though. You know, you got some bread. He got some. He got something. You're a young black man in in the, in the NFL or playing in the NFL. You're a type of dude that keeps cash on you. You're a cash haver. That's just like when you with the with the NFL, bro. Like you gotta just you gotta literally disappear when you're like like if you're involved in something that's mm-hmm. a, just a stain. You gotta. It, he just keeps repeating shit. Even, it's if, crazy. If I'm a coach, I want to know. I'm, give me your DM, get, get them all their DMV records. I don't want them. None of these motherfuckers around them even. Give me all their records too. Nobody's on no motorcycles. No one like I, I wouldn't even have. I'm you know me. I'd be such an OCD coach, like or owner or whatever. None of these motherfuckers can even own one. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, uh, I'm sure it's no I'm, skateboards. I'm sure it's in no the, fucking no rollerblading. I think that's pretty common in like in actual contracts when they sign that you can like tell a guy you can't. Ride a fucking skateboard or a moped or something. You better not ride that yeah, fucking skateboard. You get, that you, you can no, get your no fucking voided. doggy style unless you got <laughs> fucking uh, get the goddamn. You have the bad knees. <laughs> you gotta be standing. <laughs> Damn it, Patrick Mahomes. Right? That's what I tell him. You popped that on a knee. No fucking doggy style. <laughs> Part of your contract. Stupid. Stupid. All right. What else? Uh, what other news caught your interest that you wanted to talk about? Uh, this whole. The Brady thing, I think this, it's all hoopla. He's going to end up, he's just whining because he's mad. He wants attention. He's still going to end up going back to the Patriots. But this, but the Phillip Rivers thing is interesting because then if there is anything that happens with Tom Brady, he does decide to go to whatever these rumors are, like uh, whatever, whether it's a Tennessee or a Chargers or Raiders, I heard even. All these he's rumored to go to the Chargers? That's with all these rumors. Right? Phillip then, Rivers is rumored to go back Rivers to Rivers would Chargers? definitely go to New England then. But you no, know, the Chargers aren't, he's not going back to the Chargers. No. Nah. Right? Yeah, that's what we, that's what nah. I heard. But uh, he bought a house in Florida, and then people now the people are trying to say, "Oh, he'll go and fuck with Arians." You know, it's just funny how people correlate shit. The quarterback uh, carousel is going to be interesting. I know. Philip right? Rivers is going to be a starter next year. Let's ask that. If Philip Rivers ends up in Tampa Bay, though, right, and then there's no Jameis Winston there, because then that would just be stupid. Because then, then you would have. A choice you you would have a, 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 like a choice where it'd be like why would Tampa go from Winston? Yeah, Tampa to wouldn't Rivers. pick up Winston for a fifth year option anyway. That's that's picking up his fifth year would be twenty million. They're not doing that for one year. They might. Well, I mean, really, what is Philip? Oh, Rivers? it's like twenty five million. Actually. Well, what is Philip Rivers? Like why would they? Why would you go to Philip Rivers though? Like, where? Yeah, I'm Phillip trying Rivers. to think. I'm trying to picture where would Philip Rivers go to be that's a starter? True. Who would want Philip Rivers Tennessee. as a starter? Who wants a sh- the shock? Tennessee would probably oh, take Tannehill over, over the him. shock put team. The what? <laughs> the shock put the shock team. Put team. Is it, is the shock put team. Because the ball? Yeah. I can't see him going anywhere. Hey, like, To uh, get a starting job, which is kind of sad. It's like w- Chargers are just going to go with the rookie. Fuck it, he's going to hit the booth. Oh, he'd be hella better on Monday night. Philip Rivers? Farfick Nugan. <laughs> Even, is is he pay, I think Burger. I heard Peyton Manning is going to Monday night. Oh, my God. That would be the shit. I'd, him and Rivers? I could, <laughs> I could be wrong on that. Oh my God, Peyton Manning would be the truth. Because he would just him. be like, no one would understand what he's saying, for real. Peyton Manning? Because he would be all football shit. Okay, well, he got the, it's, it's wing left right here. Wing left, wing left, he's going to swing. Oh, hold on, Omaha, that's on one. Okay. That's why he's going through his checks. You know what I mean? Like, I want that. I love it, like, when, when, uh, it's Tony Romo. It's the shit. Tony Romo's good. He's really good. He's sharp. Peyton Manning would be just as good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would love to because Peyton Manning is the cerebro of assassin guy. Like, you know what I mean? It's all up there. That's why he has a big ass head. This big ass hard drive in there. It's the old, it's a dated model. You know what I mean? But it's a big ass one. You know, the early t- double terabyte shits. You know what I'm saying? Big ass box dome. <laughs> all those plays and fucking everything. All the looks. Peyton would everything. get like, he would get like. 14, they'd, they'd have to break him off for him to, to, to go in the booth. Bruh, 
He's already. He, he, I bet you. But he works with ESPN already, so like. Yeah, and right? so it, it would work, and you know he got all these fucking commercials. Oh, you know he's, what I'm he's, he's everywhere. He's hella good. He's everywhere. He's really. He's he's good. He's good with the money. I, I can see him doing something like that just because he enjoys it, and it'd be Monday night, and because Monday night is different too. It's like. You get it's all the coverage, so you, you get to interview all the you know the players. You're there all the practices or both teams practices. You're bouncing around. You know what I mean? They really get you know what I mean. Peyton Manning loves that shit. You know what I mean? He, he gets be back, kind of back in the game. You know Speaking of the game, shoot, no, no. What else? Nah. Right, what else going on? What else going on? I think that's pretty much it. Nothing I mean, else? like, oh, like you know, all the Bengals all but saying, you know. They're, oh, they're Burrow's going to go to a Joe Burrow. Yeah, Joe, Joe Burrow. Oh, for sure. They have to. Right? You have to. Especially with all the shiny sh- shininess coming off of a, a, a national title and you're a Heisman. You know what I mean? Boom. You're just, you, have, you have all the makings of a number one pick overall. There's, hey, you know what? I was kind of looking. The quarterback class is kind of deep this year. Yeah. Kind of some sound, I don't know. I don't know if anyone's going to come in and just other than Burrow's and have like the gig handed to him. But there's some there's some guys in there. Like, you know, honestly, like, you know, I see, like, uh, the Daltons maybe going to, like, you know, the Buccaneers type of shit. Who's you know, getting One of those, like, Buccaneers are going to get another guy if they don't have, or at least even just another guy to sit behind Jameis. Because one of those, one of those guys, like, all the dust is going to settle after, after the draft, and then we'll start seeing certain, ex- except for, like, what, what, what teams? Maybe... The Redskins, if Alex Smith's not all the way back yet, they might pick up somebody just sit behind. Uh, uh, what's they got name? Keenum still, or, or McCoy. Uh, case, case they case love Keenum Colt McCoy. Oh, but they did fire Jay Gruden, yeah, so they might. That's his guy. The Colt McCoy yeah. shit might be over. Get the fuck out of here anywhere, <laughs> Colt McCoy. Put the fuck Fucking out. held down that roster spot for like three years. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit. You used to think back, he was going to be. Backup money's good. Hey, backup quarterback might be the best gig in football. He's just traveling around, beating beating them down. Huh? He's out there. <laughs> no, for sure. He's I'm, out there just knocking them down. Because he can. Yeah, he's, he's, he's out there late at night before, the, you know, everyone's at curfew real tough. He can go fuck. <laughs> I'm Colt McCoy. He goes, I'm going to be wearing a headset tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? But then he's like, fuck, everyone starts getting hurt. He's like, all right, time to get hurt fast. <laughs> this is what I do. I'm Colt McCoy. I get in the game, get hurt fast. He might play. He played, he's had a couple. Uh, exactly. A couple then he gets moments, hurt. And then he gets hurt. You're right. It's time to get hurt fast. Colt McCoy style. Oh, man. Colt what McCoy's else What else went on? Let me think. Yeah, uh, uh, there's some there's some coordinator changes. You know, I've earned, not coordinator changes. Uh, yeah, actually, Jay, uh, Jason Garrett got hired by the Cowboys. <laughs> or the Cowboys, uh, what's the, the Giants. Giants. Yes. That's yeah, funny, dude. Yeah, no, him and then uh, and then Gary Kubiak going back You know, to at, least you, at least you got to feel good about the tight end and, uh, and the run game for uh, New York, right, Giants. Oh, well, I mean, Evan so Ingram nice and do. Saquon. Because it's like, damn, he... That's not saying that much. have Des Bryant, and Des Bryant will still be like a 70-yard guy, like, on average. You know what I mean? Like, in, in his hay. Because then every so often he had the blow-up games. But he that's, always had the touchdown threat. That's funny. They give him an offensive coordinator. Yeah. Role. And then Dallas, he kind of, they hired someone to take that Yeah, and then and shine them <laughs> up. It's like, how? Oh, ha, ha. Look at this Tricks. guy beat Miami. Maybe, Look at how bad we beat maybe. Miami. Maybe. Maybe Jerry Jones, <laughs> just maybe. I was like, "Look, I'm I put in a good word for you in New York." They, was, they called me asking about you. I was, I, at first, I was gonna say, "Ha ha, Jason Garrett, stupid, fuck that guy." And then he's like, "Oh wait a second, no 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 no, he's great." So now I'm gonna need you to go in there two times a year, <laughs> right? It's like Jerry Jones has this guy in there, dog. Yeah, he got, he he infiltrated the Giants. Right? <laughs> he still reports yeah, he, to Jerry. Yeah. He still reports to Jerry. Look, this is what we're running the, on. Uh, we're planning on running next Tuesday, bro. On Thursday, he's gonna have a succession of claps, <laughs> right? <laughs> that tells us something like Morse code or something. You know what I mean? Oh, and they're gonna be like, yeah, okay, we know what they're running. My did uh, my girl call him the clapper? Exactly. I never That's what that. I'm saying. He's going to have a succession of claps. <laughs> like, Jerry Jones is like, okay, this is a run play. Clap on, clap on. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, Jerry, yeah, no. Garrett, he's, he's, he's still a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. 
I think that's. I mean, there was some other interesting news. I just can't think of it all. <laughs> if you guys start to get good, blow it up. <laughs> right. Just blow it up before it gets started. <laughs> right. just, Listen, Jason, <laughs> I've got you in there for a reason. <clears throat> Saquon, run him to the ground. <laughs> Give him forty carries a game. For real, uh, Saquon, you're gonna be running this thing back too. Get Saquon's return to punt. Matter of fact, put the boy at quarterback. <laughs> Jason Garrett sounds. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. That's Jerry that's Jones Jerry. telling him. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Oh man. Hey, he's <laughs> how many times? Jerry Jones runs two teams now. Fuck. That's crazy. He figured it out. Yeah, because who? I mean, why would the Giants be so the, fucking and who stupid? The, who the fuck did they hire again? Jason Garrett. No, no. The rule is that the rule. No, guy? no. They hired a uh, judge. Judge. The judge. Yeah, the judge. All right. Well, yeah. At least they got the judge running things. Hey, it's funny because I don't know shit about none of these motherfuckers to, to make my brother-in-law feel better because he always asks me, okay, what do you know about these guys? Because, you know, they've been going through a lot of changes. You he's, know a I mean? no, he's, he's a patriot. No, he's a patriot guy. Well, well he's a, he's a, um, they're from, they're from Jersey City. Born, he's born and raised. But, but by the time he was like 16, Joy-Z? 17. He's from Jersey? Yeah. Like he had the accent and everything when I, when I first met him. But this fool, <laughs> he, um. Oh, you're talking about your boy. I thought you were talking about Joe Judge right now. No, no, no. yeah, I'm talking about my, my brother-in-law. <laughs> I thought you know right? Joe Judge? Yeah, the dude married to my sister. <laughs> okay, he's a Giants fan. Italian right? cat, yeah, Giants fan. <laughs> then he moves to uh, Connecticut, and you know what I'm saying, and like, where all the rest of his family was at, and they're all Patriots fans. So it's like, you know, when when the Patriots will win those years. Oh, he's, they, he's they two and over some, yeah. Yeah. On the fam, yeah. Yeah, but he, yeah. But it's funny, too, because like... <sighs> He swears by the Belichick thing. I'm telling you, Belichick would do that with anyone. Stupid, <laughs> stupid for getting rid of Garoppolo. I'm like, you're hating. And he's like, yeah, I know, I wanted Garoppolo. Because there was a small Garoppolo rumor back then, too, with the Giants. It was like, you know, there was all kind of, you know, there's always, there's always all kind of rumors. They, they, some are short lived. The long, the ones that stick around, those are the ones that are like, okay. And it happens, you're like, oh, yeah, I heard that shit a minute. You know what I mean? But like, like, even like, there was, a, like, before he retired, Eli Manning, you already started hearing whispers of him, like, maybe going to Jacksonville. Like, nah. Nah, you know he's done. Saying? He's nah, done. He's him done. and Peyton are going to team up. Capitalize so, the Eli, the, the Manning name. For real, huh? They both got Cash to. out on it. That's true, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> you know what's funny? I bet you anything, right? Ooh. Fucking, um... Every day, uh, Daddy Manning, whatever. It was, Archie. Archie, right? He's just like, damn. Love you, sons. <laughs> you know what I mean? They got another brother, too. That's, yeah, yeah. Uh, I he was, was going to be dope. He's pretty funny. He, uh, they did, I seen him on some. He like, was going to uh, be dope. Get, he was like a receiver. Yeah. But Cooper. Like, Cooper. Cooper. But he had like a, um, a spine issue. <sighs> where it was like, it was? Yeah, where it was like, he was following. So, so Manning. So uh, <laughs> he was the receiver in the family. Somebody had to catch the yeah, fucking know, ball, right? right? They're like, uh, uh, no, 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 Cooper, you're gonna go catch. Right, it. But see, I think he was the one. He's between Manning. He's between Eli and Peyton. <sighs> right, right. So like when when Peyton was they, they played in high school together. Him and Cooper. You know what I'm saying? So like he was, you know what I mean? And, and Cooper was younger, but he played in varsity, and they were just. And then like, you know, the, 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 you know, instead of going to his dad's school, he went to Tennessee. And then, and then Eli, and then, no, then their brother went to the fucking dad school, I think, if I remember Ole correctly. Miss? Yeah, Ole Miss. And then the, 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 the Cooper. And then he got his first physical or whatever, like the real, you know, the legit one. And they were like, oh, you can't play. Damn. Yeah, cause you're like, you're, you have the spine condition or whatever the fuck it is. I might be slaughtering it, like not remembering it exactly, but he had some kind of spine <laughs> shit where it was like, yo, you take one wrong hit. Dunzo, he'd be paralyzed. Huh? Yeah, and he'd been playing for all his life. Like, things like, oh, shit. Like, you know what I mean? So that was it. So, like, you know, that's also one of their chip on their shoulders. Oh, we're doing it for Coop. You know what I mean? They do it. I'm going to do it for you, Coop. No, and then, and then Eli ended up going to his dad's school and then breaking all his dad's records that were standing. You know what? I, I, If I was the dad, right, I'd be like, thanks, Peyton. First, I was like, what the fuck, you son of a bitch? You went to my fucking, my alma mater uh, uh, rival, right? And then 
Then it's like, but then I realized, yeah, good. Pave your own way. Don't fuck my records up. <laughs> Eli. I mean, if you're going to have dumb anyone ass, break your, your record. Your dumbass brother, Eli. <laughs> that lucky son of a bitch. You know he's lucky. That's how he got his second one. He probably talks to Manning, to uh, to Payton, like man to man now. Because for years, he'd be like, you let your dumbass brother get two. And you just <laughs> struggling. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Peyton needed that second one. With another team, too, it just says it even more. Like He's like, fuck yeah, I'll do whatever. Shoot me up! It took that defense, that number one defense, along with some help from the Brock Lobster himself. <laughs> you know what I mean? While he gets over plantar fascia and then fucking throws two touchdowns like total, I think, in the postseason to get them. Dude, he was over. bad. He was bad. No, he was just righteous. No, you I mean he was, was just cool. he was just throwing. He was it was safe. the Coobs. It was the Coobs. Didn't you know what mean? do much. Uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident in our in our. Okay, game. yeah, let's get to the. I'm game. just gonna say because all right, I see I can see a game script where we can slow down Mahomes and we can get to him and be a little ferocious and their run game and we can kind of stop their run game with the front with the front like uh, yeah. the front four front four and front seven whatever. But, yeah, I mean, if we could control their run game and kind of make them become one dimensional and play as just like throwing it every down, I I kind of I kind of like our odds, and I do think we're going to be able to run it on them. I'm I'm feeling more confident about that. Tevin Coleman, they're probably going to play, but he's beat up. But I'm really feeling like we're going to be able to run the ball on them. Here's here's my thing. I agree with everything you just said, Jamaicans. Right. Here's here's one thing. The tricks on us in that sense where. It's like, ha ha, we don't even have a running game, Niners. You know what I mean? And they're going to be out there with their four wide receiver sets right. like, religiously like they do. You know what I mean? They're just going to come out and air it out from the Fuck start. yeah. I mean, they're going to throw spread it, Spread everyone out. They're going to play a lot of spread offense. You know what I'm saying? You know, they're going to they're, they're gonna hit us with some jet sweeps and slants off that spread. You know what I'm saying? We're keeping everyone spread mm-hmm. and keeping everyone fucking separated. You know what I mean? Eventually, you know, because they, they've been doing that a lot. It screens, too. They're kind of like... It, Andy Reid's kind of like biting Shanahan shit in that sense. Yeah, a little bit of it. Yeah, the motion, the motion is is like what I see the key to the being like the uh, like for these two offenses. Like the mo- you, you keep the team off balance, and then you just attack. Were they number spot. two in motions? Because um, I remember, I think Green Bay was third. Green Bay was three. We were I don't know, one. but I wouldn't be surprised if they are. They gotta be because they're they're always moving somebody around. Tyreek's exactly. always moving, or Miko. Right. One of those guys moving, so like, that's that's the key, like, because you watch if you watch it in slow mo when those plays start, like, there's like three guys moving with that motion guy, or the guys leaning toward him, and the play's going the other way, and it's like that's you already got a huge advantage. Yeah, you get guys doing that, so like, they're gonna do that. They're gonna score on us at some point. It's not like we're gonna like shut them out. We just can't get demoralized. Like, we can't have big ass plays like, where they're just <coughs> and we need backbreakers. We need demoralizing drives on their defense. Which I think we we're, we should be we able need like to do to run like shit, like you know what's crazy? <laughs> I was trying to think. Damn! First of all, in our playoff league, I didn't know you you hit the switch at six o'clock. So I had made some claims on defense, right? And then I'm like, okay, <laughs> I just need to go switch. fill some manually. guys up. It went automatically this week. Yeah. So I think exactly. So I think of. So I'm like, fuck, I'm, when I look at it later on, I'm like, oh, shit, I missed the fucking the shit. Because I, I made some claims, but not, like, on, like, the, just guys to fill up, you know, spots, right, right. like, on a team. Like, I was like, fuck, damn, I was going to get Marquise Goodwin. You know what I mean? You ended up getting him, right? Because I didn't even get to put a claim He's on He's not going to do anything, though. No, I know. You can grab anybody. But here's the thing, though. I, I didn't, So it's been a week since our last show, essentially. And I started thinking, I started thinking a lot. I was like... Man, they got the most, most speed. Yep. Right? And I'm like, who's our fast guys anyway? I'm like, okay, we have Goodwin. He's not even active. Yeah, he's not even active. No, I'm just saying, as far as like the guys that are fast, because he's he runs like a 4-3. You know what I'm saying? Debo's pretty fast. Debo's fast. I think he's like a 4-4. Kittle's pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. Not 4-4 four, 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 fast. Four, yeah, 4-5. Like like I mean, we're, they're not 4-4. They're, 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 they're not burners no, no, like these guys have. I forgot... And like I didn't, I didn't go and look it up, but I just remember, uh, we we do have a four four or even a sub four four guy, the fucking the che- our cheetah, Prita, yeah, Maddie B, yeah, but he's kind of slumping right now. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, I'm he's like, he's not playing like the cheetah. 
Yeah, I'm just saying though. Like, could, damn, they kind of, we kind of need him to show up, really. Yeah, because he's a speedy guy. Like, I, I don't think Coleman's gonna be if, a guy. No, that like can, if we needed a bang bang play down the field, I mean, it's gonna be a lot of moves. We but. have, yeah, we we have a lot of chunk chunk plays if we need to. I've seen I've seen Shanahan call some bootleg shit just to get. Yeah, like, you're some gonna see Debo get chunks. a couple jet yeah. sweeps early because that that's how you keep him on. The, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, keep him on the edge, yeah. like to keep him from not just loading up on a power a power run like something like Minnesota would do. Where yep. you just they line up in power and they try to run power football. That and shit can be stopped. They, uh, yeah, they're gonna have a lot of uh, what what is it called? Um, uh, what's that shit? Our interior, our our interior. On the line is, we've been pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Offensive line? Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, it's been a lot of running. Yeah, exactly. That's them beating them up versus passes where defense beats you up. I fucking love that. So, I mean, we want to run it. And I think we're going to be able to run it. And that's what, like, if we can, I mean, obviously. Jimmy's got to throw. Obviously, yeah. they're gonna they, they gotta he's gotta be able to put up some points. We got we gotta sure. come out and but we and will be able to run. We the ball. gotta come out and get on them down the field early because they're gonna be ready for the run, and we should we gotta capitalize on that early. Like, all right, I don't think. Uh, well, the thing with like, that, like, well, like our team, play action right Shanahan that has to game. scheme it open for to be down the yeah. field, like because we don't have burners like that it's are true. like a Tyreek that's just gonna well well okay just but throw think about it, it and we don't throw it. Think deep. about it though, we're gonna have like. We're gonna. Ha- there's gonna be a lot of. There's gonna be a lot of loaded boxes. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're worried about the run. Yeah, that's what I'm for saying. sure. We're gonna be able to get. See, that, that's why I thought of someone like Marquise Goodwin. He's not. I know he's not gonna play. I'm just saying, like he was fat. Like it, <laughs> we don't have any real outside. I, I love Debo because he's more of like a, a to get like like a, a, a like a complete receiver. Right. You know what I mean? Like. But as far as like just someone, like he's the jet sweep guy off. though, because that's your fastest. Yeah. That's really your fastest. Well, yeah, guy. but he'll yeah, yeah, that's true. For, or receiver, I should say. Your oh, I, you know, I, I haven't given Debo enough credit. I wonder how how fast he even runs. He's fast. He's good. He's faster yeah. than obviously like Sanders because Sanders yeah. just lines up in that yeah. in that one same receiver spot every yeah. time, even if they don't throw it to him. Like he's there. Yeah, he's not running it much motion. But Debo's mm-hmm. everywhere. So like he, if Debo's running around early, that's great. Like that means that's gonna just open everything up. But if there's stuff in the run early, that it's uh, we gotta we gotta drop back and make plays in the pass game. Yeah, that's it's, where that's what's gonna decide it for us. Yeah, because sure. they have they they do have a uh, you know they crept up until like the top eight as far as like at yeah. the, closing up the end of the year. You know, what I'm saying as far as their secondary, Shanahan's gotta have something ready for these yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, right? I'm telling you, like I I've seen Shanahan play against Spag, and you know, what I'm saying like I just it makes me feel confident with our personnel. You know yeah, I mean? yep. It's, it, but they they got the X factor though, the one guy like you said. Yeah, they got they got Frank Clark, and then they also got their other their other X factor back there. No, I meant the, I was the, the honey Mahomes. badger. Mahomes is the whole key. Oh yeah, and Mahomes. Too. Their defense, obviously, defense. Yeah, yeah, defensively, yeah, yeah like yeah. Frank Clark's good. Yeah, they, yeah, they got Mahomes. Like, like, oh my god, he's the guy though. Because if you, he goes wild, it's it's all it's all bad. But I mean, we can keep up with them. We can, but I I just think they're not going to try to like let this fool go crazy. I'm like just, you got to control momentum. Know. We, exactly, because we and we have to we have to disrupt everything because that's the only way. We, if we can't beat them with speed, we can, if we can't keep up with their speed, we have to disrupt everything up front. Where it's like we have to make these guys. We have, they're gonna have to make play after play. Yeah, you know what I mean. They're like, gonna have to we get can't his ass. Make nothing easy. Like if they're making something happen, it's because they're making the fucking play. Right. You know what I mean. Like they're, you know what I mean? It's gonna be some amazing shit. To we see. gotta rough them up. Like, like exactly. Like we really gotta rough his fuck ass up. up. All their timing. You know what I'm saying? We have to play discipline. We can't be having motherfuckers fucking... Oh, we can't have D Ford. Hopefully D Ford doesn't come out all spook. Like, hopefully they don't get in it. That, that isn't part of getting in his nah, head I think process. He's, he's going to be ready. It's, you know what I'm saying? Because he's a, fast. He has speed. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Well, just the one thing I don't want to see is, is, is like, Andrew. Mahomes just dropping back. And taking the t- and just stepping and then just firing Boom. and just not and getting touched those, and just throwing fucking bullets yeah. down the field. Because if he throws, it's a problem. If he's able to just fucking throw it, it's a problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we really gotta. We fuck have with to him. be you disrupting have to fuck with everything. Him. You have to fuck with him. He has to be under pressure every play. We have to. Yes. We, we have to be hitting him. We have to hit him every time. We have to beat him up for sure. Like if he's if that ball's coming out, we better be hitting him while he's while he's releasing it. That's that, that's only that's only up. And then the other way, it's a, because then if you, we miss any of those those times when we're trying to hit him <clears> with that constant pressure that we need that requires, 
right? Mm-hmm. If there's, there's going to be one or two times where he rolls off, where, you know, he shakes off one of these, or he takes a hit and he's, ah, he rolls off the guy and he hits someone 40 yards down the field, 30 yards down the field, and fucking yep. 50 yards down the field. <laughs> But the uh, like the the Patriots used to like with the Rams the 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 secondary Zero would coverage. beat up the receivers too. Oh like, yeah, and, and even the Seahawks. Yep. They, you would beat up this anytime they caught the ball. Cam Chancellor was lighting you up. Yep. You know what I mean? Or and even like, just just like, jamming them at yeah. the line. Like Are if, you hit like if everything. we can if we can be physical with them and and keep them from like feeling comfortable. And get them, yep. Get and them then frustrated. The, and then yes, like that's that's <coughs> that's gonna really like. Secure it for us, because if, if if that happens, then the pass rush is going to be even that much better. Because they're going to have a pass rush. But if, yeah. But if they if we make they're, them scared you know to catch what, it, though, if we make them scared we, to catch it. Hey, hey, Jimmy is he's like he was top five in in, uh, in completions off the uh, off the the play fake, and you know they're you know what I'm saying, or even oh and off the play fake, and then I forget what he was with off the blitz, because that's the one I was looking for. But anyways, um, yeah, that dog blitz us. Mm-hmm, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. like we're we're good off the blitz. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's crazy. Like it's it. You know what's crazy too is it. This is a really. This could be a really good game for Kittle. Like he matches. He it has th- to be. Yeah. Somebody has to step up. No, I'm just saying too. Like like you know what I mean? Their safeties ain't and, and their linebackers ain't. You know, I don't see any of them handling them. They're gonna be worried about him though. That's cool. For sure. That's cool. Then we'll we'll go, we'll go another way. I'm just saying like you know what I mean? Like. Oh yeah. Tight, no, he's end, gonna, tight ends do their thing. Th- Guys Everybody's like gonna step Darren, up. Everybody's guys like Darren up. Waller, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Guys like Hunter Henry, you know what I mean? Like everyone eats on these motherfuckers. Yeah, those, those. It is the Super Bowl, you know what I mean? You do clamp down, you do it's look true. at it as let's run down and kill. kill. And oh, Kittle will sure. block the fuck. He'll he'll throw any of them out the club. He'll want to block, yeah. He'll throw any of them out the club. <laughs> Bounce them. Yeah, yeah. He's Get the, just, hey, you know, real talk. He's kind of like the key to the run game. Yeah, one of the big keys. This is like how good of a blocker he is. So like, yeah. he's, and he's uh, drawing so much attention too. Yeah, where it's like we're gonna run it on him. We're gonna. Yeah. That's why I said I came here and told you we're gonna be able to run it on him, and and we're gonna be able to run our shit. And we, if we're gonna be, I feel like we're gonna play from the, with the lead or play right there with them the whole time, and yeah. like we're not gonna fall behind because uh, like the scheme is ready. The I scheme mean, is ready. Shanahan's ready. He's not gonna. He's not gonna fuck this one up. He's not gonna fuck this one up. He better not be doing no chow mein out there in Miami. No, that fool might not be sleeping. That's true. He might not be sleeping he's out just, there. All naturally, just fucking watching film. Twenty-eight to three, right? He's gonna be ready. You know he's got he's got something drawn up. You let everything we out. Love in the Super you, Shan. But Andy Reid's gonna be ready the too. Shan. So we'll see. Like I said, if, if Mahomes is just able to just drop back, stand, and just chuck it, we're in trouble. You know what I mean? If we're not hitting his ass, it's he's gonna be able to do what he wants. He's too good. I know. We he's gotta, too good. And we can't give up no fucking no big pis because these fucking burners are coming unless we're smashing them. You know what I mean? Like fucking. We'll see. I mean, but, but I see. I do see smash a scenario them. where we force a turnover or two early in the first half. Smash. And then you know what I mean, and kind of like take control of the game, with off that and playing clean. We're not gonna. I don't see them. We might have a turnover, but I don't think it's gonna be in the first half. It's a weird call. We got to smash, smash everyone. Smash. Run right through Just them. Run right through them. On like, both sides of the ball. I mean, smash them. I'm we like, have to somehow hurt Mahomes. We just got to keep hitting this kid. Preach. And we have to, like, I mean, this is what trips me out about Mahomes, okay? All of a sudden, he's in the hole. And then he's like, okay, I figured it out. You know what I mean? He comes through in the huddle. You know, ooh, ooh Kermit the Frog shit, right? And then, boom, it, everything starts clicking. Because it's like... That's that's it, and that's what his playoff performances look like. He comes in the game, first half he ain't doing nothing. You know what I mean? Then it's almost like he just did some fucking Muppet Babies magic, and fucking boom, he just all of a sudden everything's clicking. You know what I mean? Sometimes it'd be fast. You know what I mean? That, that Texans game, it was, he was blanking out. It's crazy. Then he's like, oh, oh, never but you're not out. surprised anymore. You're not no, surprised. But see, and if he does I just hope us, he I can't figure our shit out. Yeah. God. He couldn't figure out the Patriots two times in a row. That would mean he just kept zero coveraging him to death, like just daring them. 
You know there I mean? is there is tape of him getting yeah like in tough yeah. games, but not playing a great like right off the bat. So I mean, we he could he could make a mistake. That's what I'm kind of banking on is that somehow they fuck it up a little bit in the first half, and we can we, we play just with the keep lead. fucking hitting them, hit them, and then just be able to run. Rock. What them. I don't want to see is is a scenario where we're down two scores and we gotta be like re- throw heavy, where it's like fuck. We gotta we we basically gotta throw it every play. It's revenge, even from the new revenge narrative I just thought of. Jimmy G's like, fuck that team. Why, Jimmy? Why was I thought you said me? Yeah, nah, if I just remembered. That's why I tore my ACL. Fuck them. <laughs> He's, it's They're their taking fault. It, out it was their fault. Andy. He's like, and then you know what? Here's Jimmy's speech. You know, he got all these rings. He wears them proud too. Yeah, you know, I got all these rings. You know what I'm saying? I used to sit right there and on all the away games. I sit right there. Talk to Brady. Brady wouldn't even hear me. And I'd be like, fuck you, Brady. <laughs> <laughs> One day, I'm going to go to your favorite team. <laughs> it's all diabolical. See, Jimmy G's been had this plan. Yeah, I think Brady's all fine. I don't, think, Brady, I don't think Brady would trade it. He's, trade. Got, he's, got, he's got what he needs. Brady's good. I'm just saying. But yes, no, Jimmy's diabolical plan. Yeah, as part of his speech. Fuck yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah. I used to be like, I, when I knew it was going to Miami, I was like, yeah, that's right. I sit in that motherfucker like, yeah, get hurt. <laughs> All right, so before we get up out of here, any any prop bets or anything that you've seen uh, interesting that you might, you I might like, fuck with? What, um, whatever Brita's oh, uh, yard, I haven't looked at Brita's shit yet, but I already know, like, whatever it is, I want to take the over. The Brita over on yardage? Yeah, like total Coleman yardage. Coleman might play. You know that. Yeah, I know. So I want to take the over still. Still, yes. Okay. I, I bet like you that. they give him like probably well, how many yards? seventy yards I'm total. See if I can find it. That's a good it's seventy. I think that's uh, way under. I was, but I, I mean, would put, if, if if Coleman with the threat of Coleman playing, I don't Rita, know. I think it would be like 40, 50 yards maybe. Let's say like forty eight yards. I want to see if I can find that total. I see. I can take the over still. Oh yeah, for sure you would. <laughs> yeah. Receiver props. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I love the over. I still love the over. 50, 50. Yeah. 50, and like, uh, nothing's really changed, now. huh? No, I, I love it my Niners to the over. Niners to the over. Didn't they go over half? I, I took the Niners in the over and won. That's what I had to do. Yeah. That's the only bet. If it goes under and the Niners win, whatever. But got to rock. Got to rock with the squad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I love, I I love my guys. I can't find it. I'm looking for it. We'll, we'll have to look that one up. But yeah, no, no, I'm hammering that over. If, um, probably for my my serious fun. But yeah, it's bang bang. It's gonna happen. Bang bro. bang. It's gonna happen. Woo! It's gonna happen, well, bro. You know what? Hey, this is a- hey, it's gonna happen, bro. Hey, Mahomes is great, but he's only one man. But we we, got we the whole grateful squad. to be faithful, God yes. fucking damn it. Yes. Bang bang. Gold blooded. Bang bang. You son of bitches. Follow us at the GMM Network. Follow me at Bogart Scott Free World. Follow my esteemed colleague the Goo at the Guru408. Bang bang Niner Gang. What the fuck? Fuck the Chiefs. Fuck Kansas City in, in its entirety, right? Fuck Tech 9. Okay? <laughs> Hold on. Fuck dry rub. You know what I'm saying? Fuck they barbecue too, right? Fuck barbecue. Fuck barbecue. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck barbecue sauce even this week. I don't even. I'm not even taking no chances. Fuck it. You know. You know what's the burger? Give me that shit. This is mayonnaise. Fuck. Fuck your barbecue sauce. <laughs> yep. Anything else? Can't fuck the Royals. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the Royals. Uh, First of all, fuck Wizard, fuck Allison or whatever the fuck, right? She said, oh, we ain't in Kansas no more. Yep. See, there's a reason why the bitch yep. didn't want to be in Kansas. Fuck Kansas City. Yep. Shout out to my boy Rick. He lives out there. Fuck Rick, too, though. Okay? Rick out there trying to troll me because he's in fucking Kansas City. All of a sudden, he's a Chiefs fan. Get the fuck. Honorary Chiefs fan? Here. Just get the fuck. Just... All you fucking Raider fans too. I think the Chiefs fans all of a sudden. Get him. Uh, Get him. Motherfuckers. You're just always just with your Raiders. And now that you, you want to be act like you're all excited to go to Vegas because there's nothing you can do about it now. Before that, you thought you were some kind of modern day hipster. Like, oh, no, we need to keep the nostalgia of Oakland. And now that they moved officially, they ain't now. So you're like, oh, yeah, we want to Vegas. 
<laughs> I mean, now you're Chiefs fans. <laughs> Tell them how you really feel. <laughs> Tell them how you really feel. How I feel? We're in Miami. Oh. Uh, what? Yeah, we're in Miami. That's it. I don't want to jinx us. <laughs> I'm just saying that's how I feel. We in Miami. They in Vegas. But they're going to corrupt the league. That's what I feel. You think Vegas does that? Fuck yeah. Just get, just sc- scandals, gambling scandals. Everything. Mafia will be involved. Yeah. Russian mob shit. Fucking players. Fucking, you know what I'm saying? Fucking the wrong bitch. Or beat, and you know, me tooing the wrong broad. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Hey. <laughs> hey, I went down like a crazy uh, mob, like YouTube wormhole. Oh, yeah. Okay, tell me all about it. I know a gang of them. It's like just just watching all kinds of shit. Just like the, the, the mafia shit, the Italian mob yeah, and all that. Yeah, check out Tommy the, the Karate. Tommy Karate. Yeah, he's a good one. Tommy Karate. Yeah, just look up. He has a nice little documentary. Okay. Tommy Karate. Uh... Uh, look up obviously all uh, uh, Gotti's story is cool. Um, yeah, I've seen some of that. Uh, Sammy the Bull, all that. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who's who else? Story? I mean, those are besides the obvious ones. Uh, oh, even even the dude, uh, uh, the, the the Gambino sh- the Gambino family for mm-hmm. real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or or even uh, the, the the Kenzie family, the one that's the one that uh, the Lucchese the, family. The, the Lucchese family, that's the one that. Uh, Good, uh, good yep. fellas, yep. and uh, and even Sopranos like loosely based on you. Know what I mean, yep. you know what I'm saying uh, they got some good ones too. Um, Donnie Brasco, I watched that shit. Yeah, that, that one. Oh yeah, the, I mean, all I, those movies super seen, legit. Yeah, even even that dude like in real life, Lefty. They 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 killed him and they cut his tongue out and they oh, yeah. cut his hands off because that was a show and then they, they dumped the body. But you know that that was a show that fucking. Cause you you know you shook hands with a rat. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. You bring them in. They you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm like dog, we should do podcasts about shit like that. Like we'll, I just we'll went down. I've been watching all kinds of all kinds of random documentaries like, and shit just on YouTube. I always love mafia shit, but what got me into it like really tough, like uh, you know, um, probably like in 2011, because this is like, like like by this time it was like my second or third like smartphone, where I was like just always on YouTube. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Watching docs and shit. And then like I, I, I all, I'll go down serial killer wormholes. Oh yeah. And then and then the fucking yep. mafia shit all day, just like, and it, and sometimes they're even cross like like it, there's this dude, uh, Richard Kuklinski. Yep. Yep. The Iceman, you know, yep. he's a Polish dude, but you know what I'm saying. But his I story is actually shit. crazy. Like the documentaries are cool, but just like the books that are written on them like are crazy. Like the dude. Yeah. Like, the firsthand know, stories are like really yeah. like fuck. Like, yeah, because the, the dude went... And then most, a lot of them seem credible. Some of them are, you know, be kind of like full oh, yeah. shit or stretch it or something. But oh, like, yeah. But, I mean, for the most part, it's pretty pretty credible shit, it seems like. so. Yeah. It's a no, but yeah, I'm, I'm down, all down the, you know, the wormhole. Like, uh... It's who, the Italian in me. I'm, I was about to tell my mom. Who, who you fucked with recently? Ah, uh, man, I went from, like, Lucky Luciano oh, yeah, to, like... Start I just thought, you know, no, yeah. not, not way back there, but hey, Capone. I, I watched Untouchables. That movie's kind of crappy. Yeah. It was kind of weak, but like, yeah, you know what I mean? Just some of those, and then like the 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 Goodfellas guys, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Jimmy the Gent, you know what I mean? Okay, Henry Hill yeah, yeah. and all those guys, and like just the whole era. Like, Dude, I was fascinated gotta, by it. I'm fascinated. I'll, How they, I'll send you, you just some. Get, I'll everyone's send you getting some. whacked. Everyone just gets whacked. Oh, out. yeah, hell yeah. Paul Castellanos, yeah, and Gotti, and like they that fool just and then just there. no question about it. People's getting whacked, yeah, like left and right. No one can even, uh. Even even though he, he he legit didn't didn't share no none of that bread from that heist. The, oh the, yeah, no the, the airport heist. Yeah, or that not the yeah the, the airport heist. Lufthansa. It, yeah, the yeah the Lufthansa. Yep. Heist. Uh, now I'm trying to think. Yeah, he, he was killing everybody after. That's like Phil, Philadelphia was crazy. was crazy too. Nikki Scarfo. That was the other yeah. guy. Yep, I seen. Little so like, Nikki. like 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 there was a fucking war. You know yep. what I mean? Like, and motherfuckers getting smoked left yep. and right. Like, it was a yeah. blood war. Like, yeah. Um, the, the the 70s and 80s ones are hella dope, though. I'm trying yep. to think of, like, like Anastasia. Like, before, like, Anastasia was, he was one of the, I think, I want to say it was the Gambino I've seen family. his name. I haven't seen yeah. this to him yet. Watch, watch one of him, because he, his shit Big trickles head. down. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they kill him, and then fucking, you know what I mean? Like. Oh yeah, it's always like, a big. The switches of power, like you know what I mean, like yeah. yeah, that's that's what's crazy about the mob, like, like you know what I'm saying, like you you could become a made man, 
And then when you're a maid man, fools can't just whack you. They got to like go ask permission. Mm -hmm. And then nine times out of 10, F the permission is like a death wish because you better hope you have enough compelling of an argument to have a reason why you need to whack this dude because he's a, he's a maid man. He's a boss, right? And it has to be, you know, that they agree. Because if not, they whack then they're going to whack you getting whacked. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, getting whacked. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, that's, they, it's ruthless. The way and it'll be your friend. Shit. Your yep. friend got the contract. Your best friend. And when they, and they, when they give someone a contract, you got to do it or, or you're a contract on you. Yep. It just never you know ends. I mean? They give you the weapon and everything sometimes if you're like a new. Someone's going to do it. Someone's going to do it. Yeah. Hey, this dude, Richard Kuklinski, he was tight because like. He got like so good at like, like you know, like a killing like if, if, if for the mob, like you know what I'm saying. Like he would get like medieval with shit, where like you know what I'm saying. Like he would like have weaponry. Like he's like so you know he's like one time I got a new crossbow, and uh you know this this you know this this uh this guy he's you know he's he's doing a wazoo you know he's talking about like that's what he <laughs> means like gay dudes right he says, you know doing, he's doing a wazoo you know he's he comes up to me at the light. You know, he said, hey, you know, where do you know where uh, this, this and that street is? I said, yeah, yeah, come here, come here. They have a map. And then he said, I grabbed the crossbow. <laughs> like, yeah, that's how I knew the crossbow worked. Wow. And I was like, like, this was at a point where he was just murking for, for, for the fuck of yeah, it. Yeah, for the fuck of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and then his story is crazy because it intertwines with a psychopath named, uh, he was the, 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 he was the Mr. Swirly killer. Like the Mr. Fr uh uh, what do they call the guy, the Mr. Frosty guy? I don't know that one. When he was in in New York City at the time, there was another guy. He was he was a he, he was a, a an ice cream man, right? And like he was crazy because he was like a, a like a mad scientist type of killer, but you know he also worked for the mob. But he was he was a complete psychopath. So right, so one time you know the the ice man Richard Kuklinski, you know, he's there with his kid again, ice cream. And he's like, hey, I know who you are, man. And he's thinking like, oh shit, is this guy. You know, right here about to hit me in front of every, you know what I mean? Like, the, the, he's thinking the mob hiring him right, type right. of shit. You know what I mean? And then, like, you know, the, then they get to talking, you know, he's like, oh, yeah, man, you know, I work too, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and, you know, you know, and then this small talking, and anyways, long story longer, this dude was a psychopath where, like, say, like, there's a, a guy and he's with his son, and his son was like, oh, I want ice cream. And he's like, you know, he was like, no, nah, son, he's being a dick. And he's like, oh, you know what? Here, kid. He'll give the kid one. And then dad would be like, oh, man, man, you know, cool. And he'd try to pay for it. Nah, it's cool, man. And when he, when he turns around, he'd throw some cyanide on his back. <laughs> Is that what happened? Yeah, no, he would just do that. This fool would just throw cyanide on people. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, so anyways, the ice man, he knew that's how he got down. So he, that's how they actually got to working. He, he needed some cyanide. Hook it up. Yeah, because he had to, and you know, it was crazy to see the ice man, right? So uh, the Richard Kuklinski, he, he had a hit. It was on like like a wazoo guy, you know what I mean? Like one of those. He's like he's like yeah. So you know he was at the disco, you know I knew I had to, you know so I got a whole get up, you know like a yellow like a you know like the whole get up, you know I'm, I'm in there I'm doing my thing, you know I get close enough to him, uh, hit him with the cyanide, you know. Fifteen minutes later he has a heart attack on a dance floor. Like, it's fucking like, damn, crazy. This guy is hard. Where did uh, he was that shit on like HBO? Yeah, this there's the HBO one, but then there's just hella. I think I've seen that one. If you just go on like YouTube, three, look, like three they, go down to YouTube rabbit hole. There's hella. Then, they they made a movie. The movie's kind of it's on Netflix. It's kind of it's it's cool. You know what I mean? But like the just the his story, like yeah, there's a yeah. lot of it. It's, it's like even like I, I remember years ago, I remember I went on Audible. And then fucking, um, I had, I, you know, you, can, you used to be able to just always download for free shit if you make a new, uh, nowadays you have to put a credit card in, right? But you just make a new email, this is like 10 years, eight, eight, yeah, I mean like 10 years mm -hmm. ago. You know what I'm saying? Not downloading uh, Audible. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the Richard Kuklinski book, it's nuts. Like, just his life was crazy. He grew up oh, in yeah. Jersey City. So it's like, Polacks are fucking that's like the that's like the racial slur like that's like the, the derogatory name to call a Polish person a Polak a Polak yeah like and then like you know you had all the guineas that's the Italians yeah, that's what yeah. they called the guinea and like the, this the communities they fought they like kind of warred and yeah, shit yeah yeah so like he the first time he killed someone he was like 14 years old it was just this Italian kid that always oh, used to fuck with it's him Italian used to just beat his ass all the time on the block right 
And then, and then the dad, he would come home. The dad would beat his ass because he got his ass beat. You know what I mean? Then he said when you know when he's uh, when he hit puberty, he just kind of blew up because Richard Klansky, he's like six foot five, three twenty something. You know what I mean? Just he's a beast. Like one time, like for example, one time he was like, um, okay, oh, hold on, let's go back to when he. So his first kill was this kid always fucking with him. So he fucking just one day. He just grabs the fucking, uh, you know, where you hang your coat on, mm-hmm. the little bar. Yep. He just grabs the little wood, the little wood pole. You know what I'm saying? Just goes out there. He's like, oh, what you going to do, Polak? You know, he's always beat his ass. Yeah, Polak. Wolves his ass. Just comes out there. Flack, whack, starts cracking him, beats him to death. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's the hood. So That's it's like, it yeah, motherfuckers just running and, you know. It's, yeah. It's, no, but see, it's fascinating shit. Yeah, no, check this out. He's crazy. Like, so he would, he grew up playing pool, right? And then, you know, he would, you know, so even to the point where, like, when he would do a lot of business, people would know where to find him. He'd be like a pool hall, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like Headquarters early, or something. Yeah, like in his early days, you know what I'm saying? Right. As a, as a hitman. Because, you know what I'm saying? First, he's kicking with, he's kicking it with, like, wise guys, you know what I mean? And, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, shooting pool with them. And then, then, hey, you know, once you get in and you start painting houses, you know, quote, unquote, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you're in, you know what I mean? And then, now he's getting, like, he's, he's getting contracts, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, like, you know, he he's, like... Fools that now he's, he has this persona like in his head too. Like, yo, you want to fuck with me? You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. Like, there's this dude, You're right? Connected. This dude was fucking with him, right? This mother, like, this dude was fucking with him, fucking, uh, uh, he was shooting pool, right? And this dude was like, uh, 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 he was talking shit in the pool hall. So now he's outside and he said he was with a lady friend, right? And then this dude comes outside, he's taking a piss and he's try, trying to piss on the dude, you know what I mean? And he's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And he's talking shit while he's pissing. So he turns around, he's pissing. He, he takes his own belt, right? Takes his own belt and he fucking wraps around the dude's neck, Chokes right? Chokes him out. No, but anyway, because he's like six foot five. Right. He just puts him over his shoulder. Just hold him there. Hanging him. You know what I mean? Over his shoulder. Yeah, over his shoulder. Just, ah. Killed him? Right? Yeah, killed him. Just boom. Psh. Leaves him there. Everyone thinks he's just drunk. He's passed out. He's pissed all over himself. You know what I mean? He's dead as fuck. Yeah, he just killed him right there. He just goes back to playing pool. I mean, he was just like a cold motherfucker. Like, like that's why some people try to discredit him. Like, oh, he just makes up stories. And like, oh, you know what? He has a lot of fucking ones that like were like legit. Like, he had like forty something that like were legit that he acla- that he claims to. But there's like he says his shit's in the triple digits. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Yeah, the, the madman, bro. There was people going crazy back then. Yeah, they can't do it like that no more. Like, dude, okay, so, like, when he was growing up, he grew up in Jersey City, like I said, right? So he would go out, like, shooting, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like you know, practicing shooting in the woods, you know what I'm saying? And, like, he would try to shoot these capybaras. You know what those are? No. They're, like, these fucking rodents. They, they're, they like, for real, for real, they're, like, they're, like, of, like, I want to say of, like, the, the hamster and gerbil family type of shit, mm-hmm. but they're huge. You know what I mean? They're, like, big. So you just go out there and shoot them? Yeah, so we got there and shoot them, right? And then and they they would there was this cave and there would be hell of them in there, you know what I'm saying? And like, but these motherfuckers they're, they they they'll eat like they'll eat fucking you know they eat uh they'll eat uh carnivorous shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I might be slaughtering it somehow, but anyways, so this one time he had a, he had a hit, so by this time he's a mobster, right? He had a hit, and this guy needed to be done in, you know what I mean? He wanted like to, the the guy that was the, the mob boss that that you know fucking ordered this shit. He wanted it bad and he wanted it taped, right? Mm-hmm. So like he fucking finds the guy, you know, and he's like, yeah, you know, I you know I get the guy, you know, I throw him in the throw him in the car, you know. He's oh, oh please please, you know, he's crying, he's doing all that. You know, I'm smacking, <laughs> shut, shuts him up. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm trying. He's like, oh, you know, I gotta get the money. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, it's too late for that. You know, and you take a drive him to the woods. You know, and I beat him down. You know, you know, I drag him to the to the cave. You know, what I mean? you know right? I mean, he's, he's the same yeah, kid when he yeah. was a kid. He used to go shooting. You know what I mean? He's like, I drag him to the cave, and he fucking set. He, so he has this guy tied up, and he and he has hella ground chuck, right? He has like hella ground chuck. Uh-huh. So he just fucking lays the ground chuck around the dude. You know what I mean? Like, just kind of, like, fucking has it all over him. And he has the camera there, and he fucking leaves him. You know what I'm saying? He obviously beat the fuck out of him where he's this guy. He's not going to be able to fucking even... He's incapacitated. Right, you know, right. And he's tied up. 
You know what I'm saying? So he comes back the next morning. This motherfucker was ate up by like a bunch of Captain Bears. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, so like on this one, that case, you know, that's boom, his reputation. Loved it. Yeah, because he comes back, he shows the guy. He's like, he's like you know, I came back, I showed the guy the tape. You know, he's, he's, oh, he jumps out of his chair. He's like, this is good work. <laughs> 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 you know, the Italians uh, down there, yes. brutal. Yeah, they are. You know what I mean? And like, it's crazy too because even the way he got caught, you know what I'm saying? He got caught from like, it was some shit. He was, because he was fucking with that, that Mr. Frosty. There you go. That was his name. The Mr. Frosty killer. And I was like, you can look him up too. He's, he's another one. He's, he was a straight psychopath. You know what I mean, he would just like, if he, if he, if you're like some kind of dick, you just, ah, cyanide and cyanide fucking ice over. cream. Here you go. <laughs> Have a good crazy. day. People are crazy. Fuck, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Especially back then because it's so hard to like, yeah, I mean, if you're so free, like you can just bend the block and then, you know, like nowadays you don't worry about there's cameras everywhere even. Yep. You, you know what I'm saying? Don't, you commit. Yeah, oh, a, you guys are just in the middle of the street everywhere. You commit a murder somewhere, and you can't even have a cell phone on you. They're going to know, they're going to be able to triangulate where you were at if you were in that vicinity yep. of the time of said murder. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some of the recommendations. Yeah, we're going down. Yeah, I'm gonna that check was that. That, out. that was that extra, extra much. Oh yeah, you know no, they, you know, I know you could go on. You, you do a great Kuklinski, though. By the way, <laughs> you can see him. Right? I might just, I might just come in and interview you. Uh, you <laughs> you know, to be that guy the whole time. We could. As, hey, <laughs> next it's year. funny because <laughs> I, like I took, I took hell of people down the, the fantasy hitman, bro. That's just oh yeah, dog, he's hey. He opened the doors for a lot of them. Look at this kid, Tommy Karate, too. He's another fa- fascinating one. Because he's a young cat that just rose up. in Italian? From yeah, from, he's from Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. yeah that's so like the Brooklyn Irish. shit. That was why yeah. I watched something about them. Brooklyn uh, shit. It, it's, it's Italian. Uh, the, the Italian the, mafia. The, the Westies, too. Yeah. Oh, the Westies. Yeah, that's, that's in New York. That's Hell's Kitchen area. Yeah. Or something like that. But. No, no. Well, well, Hell's Kitchen, that's East, that's East New York. So that's why they call them the Westies. They're, they're from, you know what I mean? East New York's like Brooklyn and like... Is it? Yeah. Oh. I just know that I, I watched something on it. I'm, yeah. I no, no, it. Yeah, but no, the Westies are definitely the Irish. Right, right. Yeah. Then that song, West and Girl. Mm, 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 mm. That's and on that shit. note, yeah. you know I'm saying the extended yeah. version has got to come to an end. Sub- hit subscribe. Leave a comment, tell your shit. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Oh, why? Oh. Hey, you know what? I've been wearing a wire this whole time. <laughs>